Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at an Asus G750. This is brought to us, uh, it would not connect to the Wi-Fi, do a little bit of basic diagnostics, and in the device manager, it shows that there's no hardware installed. Um, we tested it also on a, another bootable um, drive with a fresh install, and it still doesn't see the wireless card. So we're going to be replacing the wireless card, um, flip it over, you can see on this model, um, it does have this panel here, but this only lets us get to the two drive bays and the memory. Um, so we're going to have to disassemble the whole thing. To do that, we're just going to start by taking out the battery, make sure that we don't accidentally short anything out we'll work on, that off to the side. And there's this little rubber tab down here. This will pop out, and that will expose the one screw holding the bottom panel down. Just use our Phillips head bit. Let's screw that. And now we can use a guitar pick and we just put that in between. And this thing panel pop right off, just like that. And now that's off. See, so we have the two drive bays and the two memory slots. Next thing we're going to want to do is remove the bottom screws. There are four that are hidden on the bottom under these rubber pieces. So we use a pair of tweezers to pry the rubber off. I'll do that first and I'll line them up so that way I know where they go when I put them back in. Like that. And we'll go ahead and take these screws out. These are Phillips screws. These are all the same size. Three and four. And we also have on the other side, we have one, two, three more. There. Got them there. Take those screws out. And these are a different size to the ones on the bottom, so make sure you pay attention to that. Comes out there. And we have these three screws underneath the battery. Keep all the screws organized. We use one of these magnetic mats. That way, you can just put the screws exactly where they correspond. Okay, so we got those out. Now we can flip the machine back over. And this piece right here comes off. We use our pry tool, guitar pick, and we will just wedge into here. This big piece come off as a little wire, so make sure you don't immediately pull it all the way out. That will unplug just like that, and you can flip that off to the side. Okay, and now the top needs to come off. So to do that, we are going to take out these two screws in the top two corners. Just like that. Flip it over again. And then we actually got one right here on the side. Another different sized screw, different sized rubber piece. So pay attention to that. Make sure they go together. Okay. We also have a screw here and here. And here and here, they're all labeled. This one is an M2 by 12. That's the size of the screw. That's a really long screw. And the one next to it is only an 8. It's a little shorter. Pay attention to the markings, the sizings, all that stuff. And the one up here is only a 4. 
that's a lot smaller. And there's also one in this folder where we and, uh, and now I believe we have all the bone screws out that we need. We can now pull out the CD-ROM, DVD-ROM drive, and we have screws underneath of that. There's three of them. Keep those three out. And now we should be able to pull the top off. So you can flip the laptop back over, open it, and we will use our pry tool to pry in between the top piece of plastic and the outer case. Set that. And you can just go all the way around. So I'm going to the tape and the slides, so let's take that off. Try that up. And now this whole top assembly should start to lift down. Okay. You can open it halfway because there are some connectors here. So just make sure that you unlatch those. You can flip the little lever up on the connector and pull those cables straight out. It's one, two, three, and four. Okay, so. I have to wiggle the top around, but it should pull straight out after you've got all the connectors unplugged. Again, just make sure that everything's unplugged before you pull this up, otherwise you'll rip out those connectors. So here we have it. This model, if you're replacing a motherboard or some other component, um, you, know, you would do a separate process, but there are two extra slots of memory here. So this actually has four slots on memory, but for the wireless card, I'm going to focus on this part right here. And there'll be a list of the uh, model number in the description if you want to buy the exact model wireless card. Some laptops don't provide like this, so they'll only accept a certain type of wireless card. So we'll leave the exact model in the description in case you want to buy the exact one. The one we'll be replacing it with won't be the exact one. so. But it could also be a whitelisted one, so we will provide the exact model just in case. So now that we've got the two screws out, we can pull the wireless card out. And these are the two antenna wires. These are pretty fragile, so just lift up on them and they'll pop right out straight up full of them. And they lift right out. And this is the bad wireless card. So then we're going to get another wireless card and then we're going to do the same process in reverse. So we'll grab the wireless card real quick. Okay, so we have our replacement wireless card here. This is a similar model one. It's also a Theros Wi-Fi card. So we're going to plug this in and do all the steps in reverse. So put it at a 45 degree angle and you can push it into the connector, push the wireless card down and screw those two screws back in first. Make sure that it's seated in there properly. And you can put the antenna wires on. They go straight on, line them up, and push them down. They go in straight up with the course line connector, and you'll hear them click. They tape back on, and now we can put the top of the laptop back on. So let's zoom out here. Let's put this back on. You just go at a little bit of an angle so that it goes underneath the screen. Move it around so it lines up. You can plug in those connectors, and actually, it might be easier. And we'll actually we'll try this. We'll leave it totally out, and then try to do the connectors first. Um, so it might be a little bit hard to see. I don't know if we'll be able to capture this, but this is part of the tricky part. But we'll try to do the, some of the connectors first. It's a little bit difficult for me to see at this angle, but I might be able to get some of them in. Okay. 
and I'll do the rest of them now. Got a better angle for me to be able to see. And there should be, it looks like we have four connections. We have the keyboard, we have the keyboard backlight, we have the trackpad, and we have the, it looks to be the touchpad buttons. So we plug all those into the first on in place. It should fit right in. Just like that. And so now we'll do the part where we shimmy it underneath the screen, make sure it lines up, and then we can press down, make sure that it snaps in all the way around. We can close the screen. We can put our two top screws back in. Those are these ones with the larger head on them. They're also Phillips. Put those in. And again, you know, it doesn't have to be in any specific order because nothing really has to come out before something else. So we end with this order here, put that back on. <clears throat> okay, I'll snap this top piece on, and don't forget there's also this connector here for the speaker. So we'll go ahead and plug that back in. Make sure that's completely seated in there. And now this can go straight back on and snap in. Let's flip the laptop over so we can start putting the screws back in. We'll start with this way. And we'll do the two top screws. Goes in, just like that. Slide the little rubber grommet back in. We shouldn't make that. We'll do the one to the other side. We will push that back in as well. We have our three battery screws here. Okay. And then our four bottom screws, I'll flip it around and do it backwards. One. Two. Three. And four. Put the rubber pieces back in. Same one. Goes back in. And now we have the little side one, also with the rubber grommet piece. This looks to be the one with the largest um, screw cover, screw cap here. So we'll push that back in. That one is the round one. Push that back in. Now we have the last, second to last, we'll have the CD-ROM screws. So we have those three in the beginning. Those three can go back in. One, two, and three. And we can slide the CD-ROM drive, DVD drive back in and slowly put those screws in. So we had the one that was 2.5 by four. That was the smallest one. So we'll put that one in first. We had the one they would be, which was this one. And then we had these two right here. And lastly, we had the M2 by 12, which is the longest screw. That one in. And now we can put the bottom panel back on. Snap that back in. 
push that back on. And don't want to forget the little screw under the rubber cover here. Screw that back in. Push the rubber piece back on. And then last but not least, we put the battery in. And it's all set. So I just had to replace the wireless card on an Asus. This is a G750JM.